All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stat with you as I am every Sunday night from 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists playing their own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. And hanging out with Lobo, as I always do. Lobo, good to see you. Well, what's up, Alan? Not much. It's our it's our tradition here on the Sunday before we go to Breakers Live with Music on the Menu Live that we bring our guest into the studio to talk to us about Tuesday's show. Mm-hmm. But we had a little problem with that tonight. The guy who's going to be here on stage Tuesday night, Tony Halchak, is actually just getting out of a gig in Philadelphia right now. Correct. And so we got him on the phone. Tony, how are you, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Modern technology here is going on. <laughs> Where were you playing in Philly tonight? Uh, we played just outside of Philly in Plymouth Meeting. There's okay. a place called Redstone um, American Grill. And Brett and I, Brett Alexander, and I do a uh, first Tuesday of every month there. So Very cool. Very cool. Well, we appreciate you getting on the phone. I know you said Brett's driving and you're mm-hmm. riding shotgun, so we don't have to worry about you know, distracting you as you drive. <laughs> Brett, good, uh, Brett I, I guess you're on speaker. You could hear us, too. How are you doing, Brett? I hear you well. All right, good, good. Well, have a safe trip, guys, We're gonna t- and we'll talk a little bit about this record. Tony, first of all, thank you for coming here on Tuesday night and performing at Music on the Menu Live. We really appreciate it. We're looking forward to it. We love the new record, even Giants Despair. Um, I know you've done a couple of records now because I was looking through the, you know, the history and just looking through some of my own you know record collection with you on it you know i've got stuff with you from from evernight i've got stuff from ripple tree effect i think when i first saw you you may have been playing in a band called barefoot about 10 years ago maybe oh 12, yeah, 12 yeah years that ago. was about yeah it's about 12 13 years ago now. yes so i mean i i'm familiar with your work going back to all those bands and plus you know we've we had the collecting record here a couple of years ago which we played some stuff off of when you went in to do this record tony even giants despair was there was there anything different? Did you take a different approach to it? Uh, or was it, you know, this is me, this is my style, I've defined myself as an artist now? You know, what were you thinking when you went in to make this album? Well, there was, I think, a conscious effort on my part to put some more rhythm behind the music. Um, collecting was pretty uh, stripped down. Um, I was going through some a couple back surgeries at the time that I was recording it, and uh, a lot of the tracks I started uh, just by pulling the mic up to my bed as I was recovering. And so that led to a lot of uh, very acoustic, uh, stripped-down tunes. So oh, wow. It was, a little bit, it was a little bit intense, so I thought, I better put some more rhythm behind this next re- record. And that was really the only sort of direction that I started with. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I've been asking, I've been asking artists that type of question for 20 years. I've never had that answer before. So really, a, a physical change actually led to a musical change in a way. Yeah, absolutely. I, it was uh, the first record is uh, pretty intense, pretty it's pretty dark, and I thought, man, I got to lighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love it. We're going to play pretty much the whole record tonight, and we'll go back into the catalog and dip into the last record a little bit too. But let's get some music on the roll here. This one's from Tony's new record. This one's called Ragweed Summer. Summer, a sunflower wood dress, a homemade wine. With each other, there's always ways to slowly pass the time. So let's dance around the lamplit streets, kiss the strangers that we meet, show them all the love we can tonight. We lay in twine Seasoned lovers May have to know But we got all the time Let's dance around The the streets Kiss the strangers And me Show them all the love They can tonight Yep
Porch swing and breeze blowing by And with each other There's always ways to slowly pass the time Let's dance around lamplit streets Kiss the strangers and you meet Show them all the love that came tonight yeah, Let's dance around lamplit streets Kiss the strangers and you meet Show them all the love that came tonight Show them all the love that came tonight Let's show them all the love that came tonight Sense Sensation here on Music on the Menu Live. That's a song from Tony Halchak. That's from his last record 
called Collecting. And before that, we heard a brand new one from Tony, a song called Ragweed Summer. And that's actually the lead kickoff track from the new record, Even Giant Despair. Tony is on the phone list now. He's driving back from Philadelphia with Brett Alexander. They just had a gig down there at Plymouth Meeting. And he's going to be with us here Tuesday night as part of the Music on the Menu Live original music series presented by Fidelity Bank, live on stage, live on the radio. We've been playing some tracks from Tony's new record on the show now for a couple of weeks. Uh, and tonight we're going to get a, you know, a whole bunch more on Tony. You know, um, one of the things I just always like to ask songwriters is, um, you know, I, I've, you know, and you're sitting there next to Brett, and I've asked him this over the years as well as you guys drive back home. Um, no pun intended there, Brett. It's one of my favorite songs of Brett's. <laughs> um, the, um, you know, what inspires you usually to write songs? Are you an observational writer, an introspective writer? Do you write about things going on in your own life, things that you see going on around the world? Uh, you know, I've had people tell me they get inspired by watching TV. I mean, what is your main muse in life when you write songs? Well, I, I sort of, uh, I, I consider myself really a songwriter first. Um, I, uh, I I can't say that I'm probably the best guitar player or, or even the best vocals around, but I uh, stand behind, behind my songwriting. Um, I think I get it from my mom. She she writes some beautiful poetry. Oh, wow. And, uh, and so I've always had that growing up. And uh, honestly, when, I, when it's time to sit down and write a record, I just kind of go into observation mode, mm -hmm. and I just write about everything. I write tons of songs. I think um, for collecting, I wrote somewhere around 150 songs. Um, for even Giant's Despair, I wrote about 40. Okay. And uh, then Brett and I just kind of whittle them down from there. Who are some of your influences as a songwriter or as a musician or just as a fan of, 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 of music? Who, who's, your, who's your Desert Island band? Uh, well, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, a lot of Bruce. Um, uh, lately, Dire Straits. I've been getting in a lot of Dire Straits. Um, some people have said that they, they hear that in the record, in the new record, even Giant Despair. Um, the Police. I've always been a fan, fan of The Police. Um, I agree with that. I'm sorry, with that? I agree with the police. And I agree with the, I actually agree with the dire, straight, I hadn't thought of it, but now that I've been listening to the record for a couple of weeks, I could certainly hear that in there. Yeah, so Bruce, the police, dire straights. Give you two more yeah, for, for the desert island. <laughs> Who else? Uh, Eric Burden and the Animals. Oh, wow. Um, I like them a lot. Um, the Turtles, uh, Three Dog Night. They're some of my old favorites. And then as far as new guys, um, you know, uh, Ryan Adams, Ray LaMontagne, um, a guy out of Colorado called Gregory Allen Isaacoff. And I would be remiss if I didn't say, obviously, Brett Alexander is a big part of what I do as a songwriter. Well, I mean, you know, we, we, we hear that a lot from the people that we, you know, interview on the show. And it, it's, you know, it's, and it's all genres, too. You know, you be interviewing Grace's Downfall, and they say the same thing. And they're a modern rock, you know, harder mm -hmm. band. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, Brett. And, Brett, I don't think I've talked to you since the Steamtown Awards a few weeks ago, but congratulations again on your Lifetime Award. Oh, thank you very much. It was a great night. It was a lot Enjoyed of fun. It. Too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some music back on here. This one's from Tony Halshack's new record. This one's called Five Alarm Fire. <laughs> behind your eyes Who you really are begins to be Deep inside When your soul and mind collide An explosion that we are begin to see Space and time, 
aware of who we are about to be If I could guess down in my smile Doesn't take long to start this fight Heats me up, cools me down Things begin to dance around Steal the keys, scorch my lips Touch your skin with my fingers in lips Five and one, five, baby, don't get out of me Oh, I know we 
Jesus at the end All I see is Evangeline All I know is at the end All I see is Evangeline
Tony Halchak here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Life's Love. Before that, Evangeline. That one goes back a little bit to Tony's previous CD collecting. And before that, we heard another brand one, brand new one, Five Alarm Fire. That was also from the Even Giants Despair record. Tony, that last song we just played, Life's Love, that's a pretty song. Um, obviously written about the birth of a child or the, the, the impending birth of a child. Uh, that's about your little girl, right? Yes. Um, thank you, by the way, for the nice words. Um, that song I wrote um, when my wife and I learned that we were having a daughter. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was uh, sort of a um, a tumultuous pregnancy. So uh, there, was a, there was a lot of uncertainty there. So I, I sat up one night. Um, it's probably about 2 or 3 in the morning and and I wrote that song, so that's what that's when that happened. No, she will always have that. What's her name? Her name's Eve. Okay. Got Eve to... Catherine, after my grandmother. All right. Very, very pretty. Well, you know, we'll, we'll tape this show and make sure she gets a copy of it someday. Her dad talking about her song on the radio. <laughs> uh, the next song we're going to play, Tony, is Susquehanna Girls. I love this song. This is one we've been playing a couple weeks. Uh, I like the fact that you've got some local references in in the in the record. You know, even the name of the album, even Giant Despair. Some people from Northeast PA might not know because we cover a rather large listening area going up to Scranton and down. But the Giant Despair is this huge mountain and it, it overlooks Wilkesbury, and um, just you know, just up on the. Oh, um, I didn't actually know that, and I lived in Wilkesbury, yeah. <laughs> so I assume that's where you got the name from a little bit, right? Yeah, that um, that the name of the record came from the song Susquehanna Girls, and and quickly the song Susquehanna Girls was I kind of wrote after a lot of. Uh, failed relationships. I was going to ask you about that next. Imagery. Taking imagery from the area, um, and uh, Giants of Spare has a hill climb race every year. Right. And uh, they go up, and it's been going on for, I think, 100 years. It's the oldest race in America. Is that the one where the guys race and, the cars uh, down the hill? They, they race the cars up the hill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, I sort of, uh, if anybody's ever been there that's listening and they sat on the devil's elbow, there is all sorts of insanity that goes on <laughs> at, at, at that spot. So I kind of use that as an analogy of my romantic relationships at the time. So you tied it all <laughs> together, too, with the name of the album and the song, Susquehanna Girls. That's pretty cool. Let's play that one. This is Tony Halchek. This one's called Susquehanna Girls. Check it out. <laughs> Stars and Susquehanna girls. My name is Georgia, and I think I like a hot chocolate with a peach burning inside. Listen, to mess around with Susquehanna girls. Walk to feel filled with fireflies. Wrestled with the words you said that night. Laugh with my mother till the broad daylight Susquehanna girls that drift on day Listen To mess around with Susquehanna Just 
These nights they wander like tumbleweeds, dragging their feet in the sand. These nights I wish you were here with me, 'cause I'm lost in these shades. Nights stretch like railroads, our engines are payloads, and the whistle needs every blow. They keep rambling on like some tired train song. These freighters will never find home. These nights they wander. I'm lost in these shadows. Check here on music on the menu with, on the river with a song called Shadowlands. That's from his brand new album, Even Giants Despair. Before that, Love Lord Vagabond. That's from the last record, Collecting. Really great song. And before that, Susquehanna Girls, which Tony was telling us a little bit about before we uh, we queued it up there for you. Tony's on the road right now. He's on the phone with us. He's on his way back from down near Philadelphia. He's just did a, a gig with Brad Alexander. He'll be with us here on Tuesday night as part of the Music on the Menu Live original music series. Now, Tony, before we play Susquehanna Girls, we were talking about some of the local references in the song. I realized I've known you forever, going back, like I said, you know, some of your old bands that, you know, we've, we, I've written about for the, for the newspapers or, to, or played here on the show. Uh, where are you from? Where did you grow up in, in Northeast PA? Um, I grew up in Wilkes-Barre and no. Mountain Town. Okay, I never, I never had asked you that. So where did you go to high school? I went to Crestwood. Okay. And... How old were you, you know, because I'm thinking about how long I've known you now with some of these other projects that you have. I have never really known you not as somebody that was involved with original music. You have always been in bands since I've known you for, you know, 12, 13 years now that was rec writing and recording songs. So. Yeah, I've tried. That's what I've tried to do. I mean, um, I know we've had uh, some difficulties in this area with original music, but, you know, there's always... There's always pockets um, where it still exists, and uh, obviously you've been a, a huge proponent to uh, to keeping that that sort of uh, thing going on in this area. So you know, I thank you, and I'm sure everybody else who does what I do thanks you. Oh, that's kind of you to say. I mean, the bottom line is though is that you know if I gave it a shot 20 years ago and there wasn't anything good, I, I would have you know <laughs> got bored. You know, I keep getting great new music from people like yourself, and so it's always it's, there's it's so easy. much talent in this valley. Somebody needs to give you guys a voice. It's easy. It's 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 easy for me, and it's fun for me, and it's a pleasure. Now, Brett, I just mentioned you know knowing Tony forever, and having him you know so many projects over the years. You pretty much produced him probably since he was you know a kid. Yeah, yeah, over a decade. So you know how He's have still you? A kid. 
I mean, I, I, I know. I, yeah, he is. You know, but I, I mean, I know you're sitting next to each other and you're driving, you know, back up the, the turnpike. But, you know, how have you seen him grow as an artist over the years as his producer? Well, I mean, the thing, the thing with Tony is he's not like, you know, like some, some people make records and it's like a guitar player making a record or it's, uh, you know, it's like a musician making an album. And, and Tony always was like approaching more from being an artist and being a, a songwriter. And, uh, you know, and, and he's kind of, I mean, he's, it's kind of always been sort of, you know, the, the, the mission statement of it has always been sort of the same, but, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's gone left and right of that. Well, like any good artist does, you know. So uh, challenges he himself. Yeah. yeah, he keeps reinventing what he's doing, and you know, and this this record in particular is you know the most Americana that I've heard him go. You know, like real earthy, and and so uh, you know, it, it seems like a real logical progression and a, and a whole a really nice, uh, great bunch of songs. Well, we agree. We're playing them all tonight. We love the record. Here's another one from Tony Halcheck. This one's called All My Heroes. All of my heroes are dying Cool kids leaving the town I'm left here alone Now I'm trying To see if there's someone around Fights for the things that are bigger than them Raise a generation with shovel in hand Wish I could Tell them I'm sorry Wish that I somehow could be Half of the men they once were The world's greatest left all to me Watching the loved ones burn everything to the ground. Who does the things that they all used to do? Cut through the bullshit and raise me in you. Wish I could tell them I'm sorry. Wish that I somehow could be half of the man. Left all of me and Who wants to take up the shield in the name? Try not to screw up the stake in the claim Wish I could tell them I will try Wish I could give it a go But after the men they once were It's double the strength that I know Yes, half of the men they once were Double the strength that I know Billy left home with a dollar in his pocket and a hedge full of dream He said somehow, some way, it's gotta get better than this Back to bags, left a note for her mama, she was just 17 There were tears in her eyes when she kissed her little sister goodbye they Held each other tight as they drove on through the night, they were so excited Got just one shot of light, still I was still not afraid Cause life is so great, time is a thief when you're undecided 
Like a fistful of sand, it can slip right through your hands. Young hearts be free tonight. Time is on your side. I took her to an apartment that was jumping every night of the week Happiness was found in each other's arms as expected And Billy pierced his ears, drove his pick up like a lunatic Young hearts be free tonight
Tony Halchak here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Ain't No Home. Before that, Tony Halchak with a song called Young Turks. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Before that, another one from Tony Halchak, that one called All My Heroes. All of them from the brand new album, Even Giants Despair. Tony, when I listened to the record for the first time, I did what everybody does when they get a CD. I, I checked out the artwork and I flipped it over and I looked at the sound titles and the production. And I see a, I see a song title called Young Turks. And I'm like, oh, Rod Stewart had a song called Young Turks back when I was in high school, you know. Um, and then I listened to the record, and I realized you you had indeed covered the song. Um, pretty neat, pretty pretty neat choice of a cover. You did a great job with it. I loved your interpretation of it, what you did to it. What inspired you to recover to cover that tune? Well, as I was, that was the last song we did, and um, as I was doing the record, I there was a. Uh, a theme of like blue collar family and relationships that was uh, popping up through the whole record. And um, I, I spin vinyl every once in a while. Me and my father collect vinyl records and, uh, and we, we do vinyl nights at different establishments. And then sometimes people ask me to do, uh, come and like do a party, play the vinyl at a party. So oh, I was cool. playing uh, a graduation party and I actually played that song, Young Turks, and I, I, we were almost done with the record, and I thought, man, this would be really cool if we did an Americana version of this and stripped out all that 80s production and just kind of, because it it's such a good song. The songwriting's there, and it fit with the theme of the record, and uh, I thought it came out pretty well. It, re it really is. You know, it surprised me when I heard it, and, um, you know, as soon as I heard the first lyric, you know, I was like, oh, wow, he did the right, it is a Rod Stewart cover. Because I don't know, I thought maybe it was another, you wrote a song called Young Turks. That's not the first time in the world that would happen either. Um, so when I heard it, I was like, wow. And then I really liked what you did to it, and I think, I think you nailed it. You took that great lyrical content that is very, you know, Americana, very blue collar, you know, two two kids, you know, going through the coming of age, and, and it, it fits beautifully on the record. Great job. Thank you. Thanks. I, I, I like that one. It's one that I keep going back to when I, when I listen to the record back. So. <laughs> this is Music on the Menu on the River. We're talking to Tony Halchak. Tony Halchak, he'll be with us here Tuesday live at Breakers. Tony, thanks so much for calling. I know you're traveling. You just had a long show. You played a couple hours, so we really appreciate it. We're going to wrap up the show tonight with another one from your record, et cetera, et cetera, at nauseum. But we will see you Tuesday night at Breakers. Thanks so much for calling in. We can't wait to have you. All right. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Lobo. Really had some fun here tonight. All right, Brett, make sure you get the boy home safe. <laughs> yeah. Drive safe, guys. We'll see you Tuesday night at Breakers. This one's from Tony Halchak. We'll catch you next week. Shake off these cold And flicks right up Lord, I feel so old And now you see It's finally sinking in The same word dead It's breaking through the skin You never know the damage you have done
Spread. 